Why are Gigi and Bella Hadid so beautiful? Most people would chalk it up to genetics, but I personally believe genetics are greatly influenced by our diet over generations. I mean, Italians being some of the shortest people and Dutch people being the tallest. It's not just genetics. And the main thing that sparked my interest in this was a picture of Gigi and Bella's mother. And if we look at this picture, there's two things I notice. She's out in the sun. She's getting a lot of vitamin D3. Babies born in late summer and early fall have higher birth weight, taller stature as adults, as well as higher IQ than babies born in other parts of the year. This tells us something about the importance of vitamin D3 and its role in development. And she also had an exceptional amount of muscle mass and she looked very, very healthy. This to me indicated a fair amount of animal foods in her diet, especially considering how many children she had. Now, these two things, having a decent vitamin D3 intake from the sun and a high amount of animal foods in the diet are what our indigenous ancestors used to have. And they are the common factors in physically impressive indigenous groups or tribal people, our hunter-gatherer ancestors all obtained adequate amounts of vitamin D3 from the sun and these fat soluble vitamins from animal food. Now, if you actually look at Gigi's face compared to Bella's face, you'll notice Gigi has a slightly wider jaw and more developed lips. And she's also a little bit taller. To me, this is interesting as Gigi is older than Bella. She's her older sister, which means the nutrition that the mother had for the first pregnancy was likely greater than the second pregnancy. So although their development is not really impaired significantly, there are noticeable differences in their facial structure, whereas Gigi is taller and has a wider face, more similar to our ancestors. Bella having a narrower face and being slightly shorter, which is where most people are nowadays. And if we look at pictures of our indigenous ancestors, from the Native Americans to the indigenous Aborigines to even the Dinka tribe. And then we look at my great grandfather from just a few generations ago. We noticed that people used to have much wider faces, which means larger brain size. And although the Neolithic revolution has shrunk our brains drastically, it has decreased our height fairly substantially as well. You know, and as I said earlier, Italy, people are shorter, they have higher grain consumption. Uh, Netherlands, people are taller, they consume more animal foods. The physically impressive tribes, such as these Native Americans, such as the Dinka, the indigenous Aborigines, they told stories about their eyesight, about their physical impressiveness, their height, their absence of degenerative disease their perfect teeth, no need for dentists. All of these things that people think are genetically based were not present in indigenous groups. They did not have any of these problems we're having. So the point of this video was to say the one constant factor in all of these indigenous diets and people that were in excellent health is the prevalence of animal foods in the diet and them getting vitamin D3 from the sun. Two things that I noticed Gigi's and Bella's mother was doing during the pregnancy. And I, I think mothers need to be way more active out in the sun, consuming much more animal foods than we are presently. If you guys would like to support me, please just share the video. Uh, let me know how you like this. Uh, you can reach out to me for consultations one-on-one -on -one in regards to diet, fitness, health, exercise, frankatefano at gmail.com. If you guys want to check out my social media, or maybe some various products I use on my Amazon shop. Everything is in the description below.